Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the final episode of Batman Arkham Asylum. We have gone around, collected all the remaining Riddler trophies, riddles, question marks, interview tapes, and chronicles of Arkham that we can possibly be found on Arkham on Arkham Island in every location. Now it's time for us to finally go to a party. Let's go to this party the Joker set up for us. Look, they, he even has people out here waiting for us. Guest list only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see, uh, A, no, that's not right. So it's B, B, Bane. Ah, here it is, Batman. <laughs> Looks like you're the guest of honor. Give him a big welcome, guys. Oh, you guys are you guys are really too kind. You know, apparently there's a monster sale. You know, it's really nice to come to this party. You, you know, I feel like punching you in the face. Yes, you can beat these guys up. Take this dude out. Ow, come on, how you dare break my combo. Uh, sorry, you're gonna be the one on the ground, I'm afraid. Um, let me just lower my grain a little bit, because I think I'm peeking. Okay, that might be a li that might be a little bit better. Yep, so we've beaten up all these dudes out here. Let's worry about the dudes inside. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, everybody. It's it's nice to be here. I feel very welcomed. You guys gave me one hell of a time throughout the asylum, but you know, let's bygones be bygones and be friends. You know what? I feel like drawing a little bat for you guys. Hopefully, the proximity doesn't go off. I love that yeah, they let you draw this bat. It's like, oh, Batman's drawing a bat. How nice of him. Um, draw one more here. Now, one thing I want to do before I set it off, grab my grapple line. Line it up just about right. Do 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 The explosive gel goes out and many of them are on the floor. At least we get to knock some of them out before they got up. Now let's put these criminals in their rightful place. Let's knock you out. Ooh, we can take down this dude. Ooh, and instant take down this guy. Break his arm. I think that's a job well done. And for and for beating up the dudes outside and inside, we got the achievement party pooper. KO the henchman that was celebrating your arrival. <laughs> I think a lot of people got that achievement by accident because they're like, you know what? I feel like beating these dudes up. And it's while you could just walk on by because they're cheering for you. I don't know how on earth Joker convinced them to be like, when Batman shows up, you know, cheer for him. He surely won't beat your ass. You know. I don't know how he managed to talk them into this, but we kick their ass good, and we get an achievement for it. Anyway, let's go deal with the clown himself. Also, one thing I want to point out: I'm surprised Joker doesn't, you know, say something on the intercom to point it out, the point, to call you out on that. It's like, Batman, you beat up the goon. My goons that were celebrating your arrival to the party! You know, he doesn't say anything about that. I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity. But anyway, let's see what's up with this Joker TV. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! 
<laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. God damn, it's loud. Oh, that has to be a very annoying sound. You know, Joker, not a very useful explosion. Vision's all blurry. So yeah, the Joker mannequins that we were seeing the entire time, at least until I think near up the end, was Joker the entire time, just with a TV on his head. I will say now I'm glad I did the therapy sessions because if you just not come in here at all and then you come in here at the end of the game you're wondering why on earth is there this Joker TV thing here? It would not make any sense to you if you did not come in here for the therapy. Anyway, let's take care of the uh, clown. Why didn't you stop Batman? <laughs> Me? It was your plan, you goofy clown! I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong! You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. <laughs> How do you feel about beating up some Titan goons one last time? While also dealing with a lot of enemies. Whoops! Oh, you're running. I didn't get my battering out in time. This can actually be somewhat of a tough fight, and I thought I blinded that one. Why is that one swinging around like it's blind? What did I do to it? I'm gonna beat up this one because it's closer. Biggy back ride. Time to beat up some worthless goons. Hey, I'm supposed to slap you. You're not supposed to slap me. Ooh, let's have a ride on this one. Ow! Let's beat you up. Oh, oh, nope, D don't throw me off just quite yet. I need to do some damage. Yep, do some damage to your friend. Yep, knock him on the floor. Let me just get on him. And rack up my combo. Oop. Sorry, oop, ow. Uh, ooh, that would have to hurt quite a bit. Uh, let's beat you up. Yep, let's uh, come over here. Anybody else want to get slapped in the face? There's plenty of slaps to go around. Oh, and the, the other one gets up just in time. Oh, you're gonna run. I don't know how I stunned this dude, but okay. You're going down for the count. Ooh, run away. I thought he was gonna throw the guy for a second. Battering that. Ooh. Why do I have bad timing in dodging these guys? Just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. And go for the finishing blow. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Uh. Batman! 
get away! Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist the change! That's not fair! Come on, get in! So, you wanna play hardball, bats? Do ya? You? Your car! <laughs> pickle, pickle! No! Oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it. Giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> Final boss time! And. Well, when I say Titan Joker looks really ow ass. Yeah, ow ass. Looks really badass. I love this design, but welcome to the most disappointing final boss. Because he runs away and has his goons fight you instead. You have this really cool design of Joker. You know, the game's been hyping up this final encounter. Through the entirety of the game and he you know becomes a titan he is still self-aware he's not a mindless you know goon as all the other titans were he seems like a very you know threatening final boss okay make that go off then make sure you grapple joker when he has his back to you and make him fall to the floor and beat him up. So yeah, this is the most cool ass version of Joker. But it's also the most disappointing boss fight. It's like, yeah, let's have this cool design and everything. But instead, you know, let's not actually fight the Joker. Let's fight all the goons that work for him. This was like the biggest disappointment of Arkham Asylum. And if everybody universally agrees that this is one, the biggest disappointment because there's so much build up to this fight. So much. And it's like, let's have it be the most disappointing Joker fight in the history of Joker fights. I can, I'm pretty sure every other Batman game that's in existence has had a much more satisfying Joker fight than this game. Oh, 
Ooh, run away. Now you can use that explosion to your advantage to uh, knock the goons onto the floor. Oh, that does instantly takes them out. Okay. Oh no, there's still a dude here. Damn it, you jerk. So because of him, I missed my chance. I was about to say, where did he throw the bomb? I know for a fact he threw it. Ooh, run away. I think that only took out one... Okay, it only disabled one guy. Please knock out knife guy. I need to take him out quick so that way when Joker starts showboating. Ooh, run away. Hey, bring him down. But yeah, if you look up a list of like disappointing you jerk! Where did you come from? Boys, knock him about a bit. So, Mr. Referee, how was that round? I never have trouble with this boss fight. It's like, oh, we're just gonna have one random goon that is apparently not knocked out just pop out of nowhere and hit you while you're trying to bring Joker down. We should be, like, at the end of the fight at this point. Okay, bring it down. Come on. But yeah, as I was saying, if you were to look up a list of, like, the top 10 most disappointing boss fights in video games, I'm pretty sure this one would, would be a high contender. Because, again... It is a massive disappointment for the for Joker boss fight. Okay, final round. In you come, boys. Tear a new one for me. Gotta look out for knife guys. I think they'll also send in stun baton guys. So gotta be careful about those dudes. Oh, they'll also try to use weapons in this fight. I can... Ooh, run away from explosive teeth. Wow, there's so many dudes. Knock you out. Use the teeth to my advantage. How did I not take out the stun baton? Okay, run. Okay, knock this dude out. Good, he's down. Come on, Joker. Time to take you down. I'm fine, Barbara. The GCPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it.
Stay safe, Jim. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Batman Arkham Arkham Asylum. Uh, now this doesn't mean this is over. There are there's a few challenge maps I want to show off. There is something we have unlocked because we've beaten the game for the challenge maps. There's also a, another playable character that we can use in the challenge maps I want to show off. Uh, I want to show off a few of the challenge maps that were DLC and also show off. Uh, a um, also show off maybe a few other things, so expect maybe three or four bonus videos. But yeah, Batman Arkham Arkham Asylum, especially the Return of Arkham Collection one. This is a brilliant ass game. Rocksteady did really well with their first for uh, foray with Batman, and it shows. Sorry, just lowering the just had to lower the game volume a little bit. But yeah, anyway, it really shows they knew how to do Batman right. This game came out, you know, the original Arkham Asylum came out around the time where licensed games were not doing so well. You could look at any licensed game at the time, especially movie movie licensed games in particular, suffered the worst from this. They were either subpar games or just god-awful or glitchy monstrosities of a mess. But this game showed that Licensed games can be done right. That characters like Batman and so many other licensed characters, you know, from uh, from other DC characters to Marvel to any franchise that isn't a video game brand, that isn't a video game focused franchise. Eyes that's had, you know, tons of movies, tons of TV shows, you know, can be done right. And this game did it perfectly. It made you feel like you are Batman. It did, it, it did the detective work of him right. It did the combat of him right. Which the combat for the Arkham series gets way more improved and refined. As the Arkham series go. And Rocksteady did an amazing job with this game's story. It, you know, be able to fully explore the asylum. And, you know, just... Seeing all the various villains and characters and even references and easter eggs to other villains and characters. You know, getting well-known voices for these characters is amazing. And I love it for it. This was definitely a good love letter for Batman fans. You know, if you are a Batman fan, this game is worth picking up. The Return of Arkham Collection, I would highly recommend. Uh, all the Arkham games I would actually recommend. Um, it's just Origins and uh, Blackgate maybe a little harder to come by because I don't think they ever got a HD version. So, um, but from that, you know, these games are amazing. And Batman Arkham Asylum, besides from all of its flaws, you know, the lack of Batman villains because there's only maybe three because there's only a couple major Batman villains which is Joker himself Harley Quinn Scarecrow um, Poison Ivy and Bane and we technically got Riddler but we didn't physically see Riddler in this game so you know we got you know a small list of Batman's rogue gallery you know we're missing other major villains of his rogues gallery, you know, like Two-Face, Penguin, Mr. Freeze, you know, we're missing so much. But this was a good foray into the Arkham games. You know, this is a great starting point. I would recommend this game to anybody. And I think you would all have a great time. This project was really fun to do. Uh, going after all the remaining Riddler stuff was a bit... It was not as fun, but... Ah, the in-game music, which is gotten most of the Batman videos copyright claimed. Ah, uh, but anyway, but I honestly don't care, cause, cause a, I'm not making any money right now, cause I'm not a partner, and b, um, even if I was, I wouldn't honestly care. I did this game out of pure love. There's all the voice actors, but still, this is a really great game. I would highly recommend. 
anybody who's a Batman fan to come get this game. You know, get it any way possible, either it's the original version of Arkham, or if you manage to get the Return of Arkham Collection. You know, this is a bat game for Batman fans. And even if you're not a Batman fan, even if you're like, have heard of the character, but you've never fully invested in the character, I think this is a good game that you can get into. And also, just the ability to fully explore the asylum. I don't think any other form of Batman media ever fully explored the asylum. I think through movies and TV shows and the occasional comics, you know, we saw bits and pieces of the asylum, but we never actually got to fully explore it. And this game did it really, really well. I'm happy that this, you know, branched off into its own franchise. You know, it's done so well. And the Arkham Universe is being continued. But instead of it being Batman, we got the Suicide Squad for some reason. And it's taking place in the same universe, which... I think also takes place after Arkham Knight, which in that case, I'm curious to see how they're going to handle that. Uh, given what happens at the end of Arkham Knight. But, either or, this is a great game. We don't have to worry about Suicide Squad for like another two years, I think. But, great game. Overall, if you love this, you're, this is worth buying, worth trying. The Return of Arkham Collection, if you get it. You know, you get this game and City, which City is a much, much more better game. It basically improved what this game done by tenfolds. The only thing I hate in Arkham City is the goddamn Riddler challenges, because they put way too much in that game. It's like, let's have Riddler go absolutely nuts in that game. So, that is something I'm never going to 100%, because, oh my god, there's too much Riddler challenges in that game. But, um... But we're not on Arkham City yet. Let's worry about that when we actually get there. Um, but with this game, it's a masterpiece. There's no better way I can put it. The, you know, again, it will always have its flaws with, you know, especially with its lack of boss fights, you know. You know, you have the, the Titan Goons, which you fought so many of them in the game, that by the time you're all, you're at, like Titan Goon, Five or six you know you know how to fight them they're very boring you had Bane who basically behaved just like them it's just his fight was di you know slightly different it's like oh just get on his back and you cut off his tube so he can't use his venom um you know Joker Joker was a miss of the massive disappointment of a final boss. You know, you have so much build up to him. And you have him become this badass looking monster. And you don't do anything with him. It's like, I'm just gonna, you know, just swing my arms around, you know, try to slap you, and then I'm gonna go up uh, go up to the high ground and showboat to the helicopters. You know, it's like, no. You could have done that boss fight so much better. Even if he behaved very similar to a Titan goon, if you made him slightly, you know, behave differently to a regular Titan goon, it would be a much more better final boss than what we ended up with in the final product. So, again, massive disappointment of our final boss. If you ever look up a list of top 10 most disappointing boss fights, you're probably going to find that boss fight in a lot of those top 10s. Um, especially if you look up, like, top 10 disappointments in the Batman Arkham games, you're most likely gonna see that in the list. That's probably gonna be number one in the list, if not number two. But, oh yeah, yeah. but the only unique boss that was in this game was Ivy. Because Ivy is, like, someone you can't just go up and punch her in the face. You actually have to throw your batarangs at her and and if you want to do efficient damage wait until she opens up opens like a little shell up so that way you can smack her in the face with the batarang and can do more damage and then once you make her you know come to the ground you know spray explosive gel I think it's like two or three times and the boss fight's over you know 
At the very least, Ivy is a more unique boss and an interesting boss as a result. Like, if I'm thinking boss fights, this is like the first boss I will remember. Remember, because like, yeah, Ivy actually has a unique boss fight, unlike the Titans, which behave all the same. Bane is essentially a Titan, and um, Joker is a massive disappointment in this game. So, <laughs> when it comes to boss fights, this game is severely disappointing and lacking. But it makes up in everywhere else. The storytelling is on point. You know, especially, you know, Batman's reasoning for being in the asylum, you know. You think it's just, a, you know, a jailbreak Joker ha it has, you know, co co uh, started. Just, you know, caused mayhem and chaos. And then you get deeper and deeper in the plot and you find out, oh no. He's been deliberately planning this because he's got one of the doctors making him, making him a super serum. That is basically going to turn people non into monsters. So, you have that going for you, so you, it has a really good reason for why Batman's running around the asylum, besides from just being Batman and beating up criminals. You know, characters are on point. The only thing that makes me go WTF is the Scarecrow sequences, as cool as they are, for somebody who knows the character. How on earth does that work? Because as far as I'm aware of, the, the fear gas is not supposed to make you see, you know, a colossal size scarecrow that's trying to kill you. No! The scarecrow gas makes you see what you fear your most deepest, darkest fears. So where did the giant colossal scarecrow come from? I'm pretty sure Batman is not terrified of scarecrow. Oh, in the slightest. So where did that come from? What special version of his fear gas is he using on Batman? And in that case, it's like, that's one thing I do question. I don't think the game ever fully answer, ever answers if at all. It's like, what is happening in those, se in those sequences? Because again, Scarecrow can't fight. He's a, if you, well, Injustice uh, begs to differ, but Injustice 2 begs to differ, but you know, he normally he's not a fighter. He's not gonna punch you in the face. Ace, um, I think very rarely he may have a weapon, and if so, it's often a scythe. I've, um, although I did like the whole Freddy Cougar thing he had going for in this game. Um, you know, <laughs> Scarecrow cannot fight. As far as I'm aware of, there's no way he can influence anything that's happening while the person is being, you know, seeing their darkest fears and anything, if they saw Scarecrow, they would see him as their deepest, darkest fear. Yeah, they wouldn't see him as Scarecrow. Scarecrow, so it's like, is Scarecrow manipulating Batman? And in this sequence, because as far as I'm aware of, that, he's not supposed to do that. He doesn't have any control over his fear gas. He just, he just sits by and watches the person go absolutely insane. And seeing their darkest fears come to life and attack them. And as far as I'm aware of, the, the Scarecrow gas, I don't think it's supposed to kill you. I think in very rare instances it will kill you, more so with you having a heart attack. But I don't think it can outright kill you. You in most instances. But yeah, Scarecrow sequences, while they are cool, it makes me scratch my head and goes, and makes me go, how is this happening? But other than that, they're pretty cool, especially the last Scarecrow sequence. That one is made to catch you off guard. Alright, and I congratulate the game for you, because I'm pretty sure if you look up um, playthroughs of this game, of people playing Arkham Knight, when it, uh, Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum when it originally came out, and people that are, pro and newer people that are probably playing this game today, that have never played the game before, that sequence, if they don't know it's coming, catches people so off guard because it makes them think their game is actually crashing and then you see the intro again but it's all changed it's just that is amazing well enough said i think i've rambled on long enough this is a really great game a little bit of a game i highly 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 recommend if you enjoy batman go out and get this game you'll have a ton of fun the Return of Arkham Collection, I would highly recommend because you get two games for the price of one. And there's nothing more to say, really. So, 
I'll end things off here. I'll keep the credits going. And uh, by the way, there is something after the credits. So, so either stick by and watch the remainder of the credits, which I forget how long these credits go for, or um, the skip uh, for the skip along to the video to where the credits end. Um, to see a little something that happens after the credits. Just want to point that out so that way you don't just end the video and miss um, what's there to be seen. But yeah, I'll see you all for the uh, bonus videos of this game. See you then. And if you enjoyed this, do subscribe. Later.